Hello everybody and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. It has been a long time since the previous video, but it is back now, this series is returning, and the good news is the publishers have announced that on Steam the game has returned. Um, so I don't know any of the technical details, but this must be very good news. It is very good news. Um, so the DMCA issue must be in the process of being resolved or resolved, I have no idea, but either way it is obviously um, looking very positive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to one of our fields we're going to go and bale it and you've probably already noticed that I'm driving the Lindsner tractor instead of the uh, other smaller popping tractor um, and we've also got the baler on the back. It actually looks like a class baler but obviously it's unbranded but it is in the right colour scheme. So this is the first time I've actually used this tractor and baler properly. I have driven the tractor before but yeah, we're going to give it a good go today. So let's just go to this field here. There should still be some straw here. Yeah, there is. Right, so let's get aligned and then we can uh, turn it all on and everything. Uh, so R should be able to do it. There we go. I've been playing around with the sounds as usual. Uh, the volume, I should say. Uh, it's pretty tough to find the correct volume for a game. It, it seems to be that the the small red tractor is very loud but then this tractor is pretty quiet actually so being able to find the optimum volume is fairly tough but I think it's going to be not too far off I think it's going to need another adjustment I'll have to tweak it again in the future um, but I would say it's more quiet than loud hopefully unless it's so loud you can't even hear me talking in which case you won't even be watching the video because I'll have deleted it and redone it. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is looking good. So we do have um, CVT gearbox settings. I'm not entirely sure what that would do. I think it makes it faster, but I'm really not too sure because I haven't actually played the game for a while. It makes it turn from CVT to CVT times two. Yeah, I think it makes it faster. Must be like low range and high range. Uh, obviously we need to be in a slower range for doing this job. And I'm not really going at it at any kind of... Uh, yeah, no thought. I'm just sort of driving up and down randomly. But you can see the bales are being produced. And I'm using the steering wheel for the first time in the game. Never done it before. First time in the series. Uh, the internal view is actually very good. Nice and realistic in here. But I think really, there's nothing else I can do at the moment except for just finish the field. But after that, we're going to go on a bit of a spending spree. We've got a lot of things to buy. Uh, we do have money. And well, this actually originates from the vote I did. It must have been over a month ago now, probably almost two months ago. Month and a half. Um, where I said, should we cheat the money or should we do it properly? Well, obviously originally I was going to go with uh, doing it properly. Earning all the money fairly. But then I did the vote and everybody said, oh no, no, you should cheat it, because obviously we're not really progressing that much. But then I went against the vote, and I said, nah, I want to do it properly still, despite everybody saying, uh, yeah, let's, let's cheat. But obviously now, because of um, the delay in the series, I'm going to push forward, like I have done. We have some money. Nothing stupid. It's not like a stupid amount of money. We have 178,000 euros. So obviously a lot of money, but it's not like 3 million. Uh, which would have just been, well, pointless really, because it would have meant that there'd be no point even playing because the money would already be here. So I think that is the most sensible figure. Uh, it should at least free up enough money for a good plough and hopefully the Lexian style combine. It isn't a Lexian, it's not class or anything, but it just looks very similar. It's like a 580, that sort of thing. But anyway, I'll continue here and I'll see you when it's all done. Well, I won't see you, actually. You'll hear me. I don't know why I always say that. In fact, a lot of people do. They say, I'll see you in a minute. But, yeah, it, you can't. You can't see me. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Hear me in a second.
and we're done. So we're going to come and pick up these bales very soon. We're going to keep some of the bales because I think they will be useful for the cows. We're going to buy some more cows as well. Um, but yes, of course, we're going to go over to the shop first of all just to be able to see if we can buy anything straight away. Uh, one of the things I, I desperately do need because of some of the quests that have to be done is the bigger plough. It would be uh, really appreciated. But first we'll take this back and put it in a shed somewhere. It really means that the other machines are sort of surplus to requirement. I, I guess they could be for backup. This field here needs to be bowed too, which we'll do. Um, we're also going to get a bigger drill. Well, basically, we're just going to get a bigger everything, because what we have at the moment is very vintage. I wonder if there's space in here. I think there might be a mower just the other side of this door. There is. Actually, no, I won't, I won't put it in there at all. We'll move around and we'll put it in the central area. We have plenty of space around here. I've actually got my steering wheel set to a really... Uh, high degrees, very large degrees of rotation, uh, which might make it a bit loud. Hopefully you can't hear it too much. Uh, that's the workshop. Is there space in here? There is. We'll put it in here. And again, I have to keep changing my mass sensitivity, because it, it needs to be different uh, for the tractor. Because you can see, really sensitive here. But then on foot, it isn't sensitive at all. But anyway, yeah, it's a minor technicality. Let's just put it away. Try not to crash it. It is nice to have the bigger tractor though. Or the modern tractor I should probably say. Because it is, it is bigger, but it isn't that big. If you know what I mean. It's not like a huge tractor. Anyway, that should do nicely. Now we have several uh, different shops we can go to. As you'll probably know by now. The one which I went to before was actually this one over here. This is where the tractor and the baler came from, and over there we've got a very nice trailer, grain trailer, um, along with the, I think it's the flatbed trailers and stuff like that. So we won't go over there, we'll actually go to, I think there's one north of here. There is, this one here, that'd be the best one to go to. So we'll set the marker. Um, if I put it into CVT2 uh, in a minute, I'll actually just try and get to the bottom of this, I'll try and figure out if it actually is low in range gear. Well, yeah, low in range. Let's just see. Maximum speed. Well, I'm on a field, of course. Somebody else's field. It doesn't uh, drop the social points if you go on somebody else's field if you don't have, if they don't have a crop in there. So that's not really a problem. But we are getting hungry. Anyway, we're doing 36 there. Fairly consistent 36. So I press V. And, well, of course, as soon as we get back onto a road, we'll be able to figure it out properly. But I'm fairly sure it is just high and low. Sunflowers! They're not really classed as a crop on this game, so you can drive through them. Okay, I'm already doing 39. And yeah, I think the train line actually cuts up in front, just over here. Uh, the tractor is actually getting fairly mucky. As you'll know if you watched my last video about a month ago, uh, you can wash the tractors now. Yeah, there's the train line. So what speed are we doing? 39. And if I put it back into CVT, drops it down to... 39. Okay, I don't know. I have obviously missed quite a bit here because I haven't played for a while. Ooh, we have a different tractor here as well. The combine harvester, the plough. Yeah, this is definitely the right place to go to. Uh, and the drill, in fact everything we require. Now if we can get the other tractor relatively cheap, we'll get that too. Um, it's 76. Well, I have to use my uh, my brain a bit here. I need to see exactly what this one costs as well. There it is. Oh, we'll, we'll use the social points for that, I'd have thought. There we go. And how much is the drill? Yeah, it's fairly cheap as well. I won't get rid of all the social points, because otherwise it might be hard for people to like us properly. And how much is the combine harvester? The header will be separate. Uh, where's the trigger for it? There we go. It's 110, so that is quite expensive. And it's obviously 110 plus 9 plus 7. So we could buy the entire setup there, which would mean 
not getting this tractor over here. We don't need the other tractor unless it's different in horsepower. Let's just see here. Um, that one is 100 horsepower. And this one, I probably can't tell actually, it might even be higher. This one might be higher. Don't think you can see once you purchase it. Okay, well, at least we've actually bought the plow. That's good. Um, so we get that hitched on back. Let's just see if it can do this. It's, it's clearly very heavy. Like, that is back braking heavy. Or axle braking heavy. Um, does it have road position? No, I don't think it does. Okay, well, at least we've got that. And let's just see over here. Yeah, we have 149 left. So, yeah, we've got that. Um, we do need a new combine, desperately. There is no denying that. So, I do want to get it. We're going to have to get it. We don't need the corn header, because we could actually use the other combine for the corn header. For the corn, I should say. Which leaves us with 30,000. Which is pretty good. But it's not enough for the other tractor. Alright, we'll come back for the other stuff in a minute or two. I think I'm fairly confident I know the way back to the farm. After all, I have played this map for a while. I can imagine it will be uh, very useful, this plough, because we can now do these much larger fields for people when they want to have them ploughed, and yeah, we won't be sat there for the entire day just ploughing like a three hectare field or something. And I want to put it somewhere in our complex, but it doesn't necessarily have to be inside. After all, it is just a plough, but it is nice to keep machinery inside. Here we are. We're obviously starving as well. We're going to have to eat very soon and sleep. I think, yeah, if we just treat the uh, inside area here, the sort of courtyard area, as our main yard. It pretty much is our main yard anyway, but obviously we've got the sheds. So if we lower that down, we can head back and we can bring back some other stuff. It would be also nice to be able to buy some more fields, but one step at a time. Okay, here we are. So if we can hitch this onto the cedar, or the seed drill, um, then at least that will uh, be on there. Oh look, the train is coming. Oh, it's just been. <laughs> Great timing. Uh, yeah, we'll put this onto the seed drill. There we go. And then for the first time, we're going to be able to start the combine harvester up and give that a go as well. And then I'm hoping as soon as we do have the money, we'll spend it on some cows and then we'll spend the rest on a new tractor. The red tractor, which is just next to us. I don't think there is a header trailer, but the header isn't that big. So we don't necessarily require one. Right. Obviously it's one thing at a time. There's no follow me or anything. Oh, we should probably eat too. We'll drink some milk and we'll have some zucchini soup. Lovely, we have a hundred health or a hundred uh, food requirement. So I think actually it might be quicker to go right down here and then turn right. Ooh, a bird. Put some lights on. Just the front ones, I think. And then we're going to have to go to bed once we've brought the combine home. It is definitely faster going the other way cross-country but then yeah it's uh, <laughs> it's cross-country it's not on a road so if you're going actually on a, a tarmac road this is the best way but it is quite a slow way 
So where should we put this? I think we should just put it in here as well. Just outside. In fact, it's probably even too wide for the barn, looking at it. I suppose actually the most sensible place is just around the corner, because that is where the seed refill point is. The very old vintage cedar is in there currently, but I think I could come out and it can live outside. Because this one is far more important, despite the old things being nice as well. Um, but yeah, we'll just put it here. Brilliant. Right, if we've just gone to here, you can see the combine harvester. There it is. Put some lights on here too. Just have the front lights. And for this one, I think we'll turn right here. There is a bird on the road. So what is the interior like? Let's take a look here. That's pretty good. A bit plain up here, but one step at a time, I suppose. Not bad. If only they had the licensing for class, I suppose. Due to the uh, popularity of this game, because it is very popular, um, they might be able to, in the future, get licensing. Who knows? And here we are. There is the other tractor. So let's just stop here. Um, I'm going to have to put the header down, switch the lights off, and we're done. So, yep, yeah, off to bed. The house probably could do with a bit more work, but overall, it's not bad. Shut the front door. Otherwise, people uh, may well walk in. They probably wouldn't do, but you never know. I, I don't think I'd feel safe sleeping with my front door open somehow. Right, uh, definitely only sleep for a day. There we go. And things are looking good. 3rd of April. So it's 3rd of April, but we've already got the crops harvested. This is because I kind of rushed stuff from last year. They're technically last year's crops, which should have withered. Um, I sort of messed the system up. Uh, yeah, because they wanted to wither. But then I sort of loaded it a few times and it fixed it. And they didn't wither. But anyway, let's just grab the tractor. Like I said before, we could do with another trailer, but we can't really just go spending all the money. Drop that off. We have got the bale cart just around the corner. And yeah, this field here, I'll have to bale that too. There's not too many to pick up. I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we can actually use the bales uh, for the cows. is probably a better angle to approach from since this is where the drawbar is there we go yeah so yeah it's the right size uh, implement or trailer for the other tractor it's just with this we can we can really go at it with some speed so when we're traveling over to the cell points we don't have to trundle along as I think it's 20 one or 23 kilometers per hour. We can do 39, which is much better. So just over this hill, we have our other field. We have three fields in total at this stage. But the good thing is as well, the fields aren't that expensive, so we can buy a few more fairly soon. I hope I've made the right decision uh, with... Uh, getting some of the bigger machinery instead of continuing with the small stuff but I'm sure I'll soon find out so we've got quite a few here to load up I don't know how many there are in total but we're soon going to find out so if I just continue I'll keep going and then as soon as the trailer is full I'll uh, resume the recording and then we can properly look and see how many bales are left in the field and how many bales are actually on the trailer. In fact, I don't know the capacity of the trailer. I have filled it before, but I never counted, I don't think. But we'll soon find out again uh, what the uh, exact figures are. We've got space for a couple more. I think it probably takes about two or three more. Not an awful lot. Um, but really, for the size of the trailer, it is not bad. Although, when you do get closer to being full, it is a little bit trickier finding the place to actually load it up. But you can 
definitely get another on. There we go. And I think we can still put one more on top to sort of finish off the pile. Just finding that position. There we go. Yeah, I think that's it. It looks very neat though. So left we have got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Not bad. And how many do we have on here? It's going to be fairly tricky to count. How many are there? Oh, I'm going to have to get off. Oh, I still can't really see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17? I think it's about 17, roughly. We don't really need to know exactly anyway. Now, if we've gone to the minimap, can we see exactly what the, uh, the straw is worth? Uh, hang on. What's going on here? I should have gone lower down. That's better. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't move, but uh, what do we have? Grains and hay bales. Uh, doesn't say anything about straw. Oh, well. Well, we'll just take it over there. We'll soon find out how much it is actually worth. That's the neighbourinos just there. Very happy people. And yeah, the agricultural place is just over here. We've been here many times before. If you're new to my series, or new to the game completely, then, well, basically this is just the place where you can take your grains to, and your bales to sell them. But you've got to be careful because there are actually some other places, for example the mill, where you can take cereals to for a better price. But I, I, I don't know, I don't think there is a better price for straw bales. There could be, but it certainly used to be just here. It makes such a difference as well, having the uh, steering wheel. Much better. So much more enjoyable than having uh, the wheels doing this all the time, because that is so painful to watch. Right, this is the place. It's like a bus shelter. So if we enter the bale market by pressing enter, uh, 20, 20 ba my counting must be atrocious. 20 bales for 3,000 euros. We'll take that, no problem at all. That is a good price. So the final 11 were put into storage at our farm for now. Uh, I'm not saying we won't sell them, because we might sell them eventually, but if the cows do have a use for them, then they would be required. If they don't have a use, then there's absolutely no point at all in uh, keeping them. But let's head back to the field, and we'll be able to uh, establish what the best thing to do is. We've got two more bales here as well. So we actually have about 13 bales. I begin to put them back in. I will try and put one in the cows area just to see what it does. But yeah, we might be selling them all for a good price. The price is very good. They're very generous. How many here? I think I counted 11, but it seems that my counting is fairly atrocious. I don't know how I managed to miss so many before. Right, jump cut, see you in a second. Off we go. First stop the farm. I would have time lapsed it, it's just I think the time lapses do come across as well, let's just say it would make you feel a bit ill if you watch them for that kind of job because you've been it's moving around so much the screen, the camera, um, that when you speed it up it would just be ugh. You, you just won't be able to watch it very well. It would be tough. So yes, I think it's best to jump cuts. Hello cows! Haven't milked you for days, poor things. Uh, drop bale. Yeah, you can put bales in here. Ah, uh, look, hay, cow food, plus 200 kilograms, so you can indeed feed them the uh, the bales. It does class it as hay, uh, despite it being straw, but that doesn't really matter, because at least it's still being used as feed. I wonder if we can just give them an endless supply, if we can just keep putting them all in here. Be good if we could do. Unless the uh, trigger just disappears, it might do. But that is not bad. So far, I'm impressed. Oh, it turns out you can just put it in here anywhere. Just throw it in, and it immediately uh, goes into their storage. Keep piling them in. That one didn't seem to... Oh, it did do. It did go. 
Yeah, so it can all be used as feed. I don't think the chickens will take you though, because they have a different requirement. And we should be able to see an overview. 38% stored. Wow, we can put loads in here. Definitely all of these. Done. Right, cows, you should love that. And I'm very impressed with the new tractor. What do you think about it? Yes. Good to see you like it. Anyway, I think uh, we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.